Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about the Palatine Guard. Palatine Guard is one of the free range options for the Empire Troop Tree and the only foot archer. The Palatine Guard line from tier 1 to tier 4 can be recruited in villages and towns of the Empire. The Palatine Guard also comes with one of the best bow for a tier 5 foot archer. Bow, the Palatine is still one of the most controversial range units in Bannerlord, ranging from being loved by some and despised by others. But why? The most well known thing about the Palatine is the lack of a second quiver, a thing that many other archers of the same and even lower tiers come with. This limits the Palatine to just 24 shots, but this is something that plagues even the rest of the Imperial archers, the exception made for the Bukhilani. Despite the lack of a second weaver, the Palatine is a very effective slinger, thanks to a great bow. This makes the Palatine the second deadliest non-elite archer in the game if it doesn't run out of arrows. The Palatine ranks third when it comes to shooting efficiency outperformed only by the Azrae Master Archer and the Fian Champion. This is quite a conundrum of a unit, isn't it? On one side it's a very efficient archer, but on the other it just can't fight long enough to help in longer fights. This kinda makes selecting the Buchelari or the Crossbowman an overall better option for armies, leaving little room for the Palatine. But don't despair, there is still one thing that Palatines are the best at, and that is Siege Defenses. You just started the kingdom or maybe you are farming for some engineering points or other skills like bow for example, then garrisoning yourself in a settlement and waiting for it to be sieged is one of the best strategies to level up early game while making a good chunk of money from loot. This specific situation is one the Palatine can excel at. During a siege the defender's side range units will not run out of bolts and arrows, allowing a single unit to shoot pretty much until the battle is over or said unit comes to a premature death. With this said, most people think that the Palatine is a very good melee unit since it lacks the firepower. Well, the Tail Wars doesn't, doesn't seem to think the same. Someone must really dislike this unit in that building, I tell you. The Palatine doesn't even get close to the top 3 melee archers, ranking 6th when it comes to melee efficiency. Only units worse than the Palatine are the three mercenary archers, the Arboreal, the Chosen Wolf and the Boar Champion. All of those are tier 4, making the Palatine the worst tier 5 melee archer in the game. So now that this preview about the Palatine is done, let's talk about the equipment and the stats. When it comes to the skills, the Palatine has 130 in one-handed and athletics and 160 in bow. When it comes to equipment on the other hand, the Palatine Guard gets always the same equipment, so when it comes to this unit, you can actually trust the encyclopedia. This means that the Palatine doesn't come with any additional template, it's the same repeated three times. So for the bow, the Palatine gets the Step War Bow. 89 speed, 66 damage, 95 accuracy and 80 missile speed. When it comes to the bow, the best comparison we can make is the heavy recurve bow used by both the Azrae Master Archer and the Kuze Marksman. The Step War bow gets a plus 2 in speed and a plus 4 in damage, accuracy and missile speed. When it comes to arrows, the Palatine gets one quiver of Bodkin arrows, coming in with 24 arrows. Differently from the bow, this time the arrows don't hold that well against the competition that comes with 48 arrows for the marksman and 46 for the master archer. That's quite a difference. For the sidearm, the palatine brings the fine steel spatha, 89 speed, 68 damage, not nice, 107 length and 90 handling. Not the worst sidearm for an archer, but as we said before, the Palatine ranks bottom last in melee. Talking about the armor now, the Palatine comes with the round kettle over mail, as 34 head armor. This is the worst helmet for an archer, as the competition comes with 36, 49 and 52. For the shoulders, the Palatine doesn't get anything. So do you remember when I said that someone must really despise this unit at Tailwards? Yeah. So the Palatine doesn't even get a scarf. Just think about that. The poor guy can't even protect himself from a cold. How could he defend his companions? 
Okay, back to being serious now. The competition doesn't get much better, but at least they get something. For the body armor, we get the legionary mail. 34 body, 15 arm and 18 leg. Finally, something good for the palatine, as this armor gives far more protection to the unit than the competition. For the arm piece, the palatine receives the reinforced padded mittens, coming in with 18 armor. Third best for tier 5 archers out of 4. Decent protection, especially when combined with the armor. For the leg armor, the palatine receives the leather cavalier boots, coming in with 6. Yes, just 6. This lands the palatine bottom last when it comes to boots, with every other tier 5 archer having 20 plus armor. Okay, these are the final armor scores. Ed is 34, ranking last. Body is 34, ranked tied second. Arm is 33, ranked second. And leg is 24, ranked tied last. Overall speaking, it's a surprise to me that the Palatine doesn't rank too high on the armor rankings among tier 5 archers. And I believe this is the reason why the Palatine is also one of the worst in melee. The combination of a good but not good enough weapon and a poor helmet is a killer for this unit, in close quarters. So what can we say about the Palatine? As far as I'm concerned, this unit needs a lot of help. A good bow is not enough if the limitation is the arrows, as most other archers, even the sergeant crossbowmen from the same faction, can be more reliable with their shots, especially when fights are long and holding position is key to win a battle. When it comes to the melee side of the unit, the crossbowmen should be the comparison to make here, as they are from the same faction and line. And the difference is quite noticeable, with the sergeant just missing the top 3, sliding to position number 4, while the palatine ranked last among tier 5 archers. Pros and cons. For the pros, I added a double plus in recruitability. Like all Empire units, finding and training them is really easy. Also a double plus to bow as the bow is one of the best you can get for a tier 5 unit. I added a single plus to the garrison, good unit for defense of a settlement, as the low ammo capacity will not be a factor there. I also added a plus for accuracy. This combined with the bow is what makes the palatine deadly. For the cons, I added a double minus in melee. If you're missing a quiver, you better make up for it in melee, and this unit doesn't. I also added the double minus to the ammo, only 24 shots is far from enough to have a real impact when really needed. And I also added a minus to the armor, not the worst, but far from the best, doesn't help an already struggling unit. My final rank for the Palatine is a 3 out of 5. So what's your choice when it comes to the Empire range troops? Do you prefer the versatility of the crossbowman or the deadly slinger that is the Palatine? Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.